Hello, welcome to Kids Kingdom Sunday School. I'm Brianna and I'll be going through our lesson for today. And first I want to say thank you for joining us. Um, whether we've seen you in church on Sunday for Ki Kids Kingdom Sunday School or if you're still just tuning in online, um, I'm really glad that you're spending time with us and I'm really excited to share the story with you and I hope you're having a great summer so far. So uh, let's get started. Um, this month, our faith word is belong. So we're going to be talking about different ways um, of belonging to God's kingdom and how we can invite other people to feel welcomed and belong with us. So that's our faith word and hopefully you can think of this word throughout the week and apply it to your daily life. Our memory verse for this week is 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 4. And that says, there are different spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. So what this means is that we were all given individual gifts and um, characteristics from God. And even though they're different and each of us is unique, we still are part of God's family. And um, we can remember this verse to remind us to um, treat others equally because we all belong to God's family. So this story, um, if you want to go grab your Bible, you can always pause the video and read through the verse or the verses of the story, or you could have a parent or an older sibling uh, read them to you if you want to. But this story is all about Mephibosheth and King David. So this story comes from 2 Samuel chapter 9, verse 1 through 13. And I'm going to just kind of walk through what happens. King David, when King David was growing up, his best friend was Jonathan. And Jonathan was the son of another king, who was King Saul. King Saul was jealous of David when he was younger, and because David was a chosen person from God. Um, God chose him to become king, and King Saul obviously didn't want to give up his throne. So when they were younger, um, Jonathan actually helped David escape when King Saul wanted to have him killed. As best friends, they made a promise to each other to always take care of each other and their families. Now, the story that we have for today in 2 Samuel, this takes place a little bit after King Saul has already died, and David has now become the king in the land. He has remembered his promise to his friend Jonathan. He said, well, this is my best friend, like his dad used to be king, but he saved me, so I'm going to remember the promise that I made with him. And so, uh, in our story, it starts out with David talking to one of his uh, servant named Yiba. King David said, um, is there anyone left in Saul's family or Jonathan's family? Because um, if there are, then I want to, you know, treat them kindly and show God's kindness to them. So Ziba said, well, Jonathan still has a son who's still living, um, but he, ha he happens to be crippled in both feet, but he does have one son still living. So John uh, David says, well, where is that son? Bring him to me. So they went and uh, found him at the house that he was living in, and they brought this son to King David. Now this, um, the son of Jonathan, his name was Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth um, was brought before King David, and he was pretty scared. He thought that he was going to be in trouble and be sent away or even killed because he knew that he was part of King Saul's family and he knew that King David was the new king and he might not want him around anymore. So he was pretty nervous and probably didn't feel very welcomed. But when he came in, uh, he came in and bowed to David and David said, don't be afraid. I will be kind to you because of your father's your father Jonathan for his sake. 
and the promise that I made him. So he actually promised that he would give all the land back that um, their family used to own and he invited him to actually come and eat at his table every day. He was obviously very grateful for that and he came and ate at King David's table every day. So this was very um, different than what traditionally would have happened and so King David really showed a different way of going about things. This story is a really great example of um, someone who might not feel welcome. So Mephibosheth, not only was he, um, you know, the son of the prior king, he was also disabled. He was crippled in both feet, is what it says in the story. And so that in itself kind of makes him unique and it might make him stand out and maybe he doesn't feel like he belongs in everywhere that he goes just on a normal day. And so to come before the king, you know, that must have been pretty nerve wracking for him. So I'm sure there's been times in your life where maybe you felt different or maybe there's something that you're insecure about and you're not sure how people will respond. That's kind of what Mephibosheth was was feeling at that time. Now, David was a great example of how we can help people feel like they're part of the community that we're in. And he basically said, you know, I'm not going to do what everyone else does. I'm still going to invite you into my home and you can eat at my table. I'll share my servants with you and they will work your land as well and kind of share resources and um, I'm going to treat you with the kindness that his father treated King David. So that's something that we can all do ourselves even though we're not a king of a kingdom. We can always um, show kindness to other people when we notice that they're new or that th they're not fitting in necessarily, we can be the ones to invite them in and make them part of um, our community. The wonder questions that I have today, the first one is, when have you felt welcome in a place that you didn't expect it? So if there is a place where maybe a new school or maybe you traveled to a different country and you didn't really expect to be welcomed or fit in, but if you did feel welcome, um, you know, what did that feel like? And more specifically, our next question is what happened to make you feel like you belonged? So maybe someone came up and talked to you or you found something in common with them. Um, like what was it that made you feel welcome there? And then our third wonder question is how did you respond to the person who made you feel like you belonged? If someone, you know, brings you in under their wing and kind of says, here, here's like what we have going on, come and join us. You know, did you feel thankful, grateful? Were you just happy to have talked to someone? Maybe you're too busy just enjoying the moment and maybe they put you so much at ease that you didn't even notice, you know, that you felt that way. But think about how, how it felt to for someone else to welcome you in. And then our last wonder question is, how can we make people feel like they belong? And how do we do that at our church? So if you think about what it feels like to be new and you know how it feels to be welcomed and how great that feels, how can we do that for other people? So these are some good things to remember this week and to talk with your family about. Hopefully you can read through the, the entire Bible story um, in your own Bible and kind of think about these uh, questions. And if you want to share anything with us, um, we have our Facebook page. You can share pictures, questions, comments there. You can also email Sarah. Otherwise, um, if you want to pick up the craft activities, for the week, um, be sure to check out the bin that's on the porch at the church. And I hope you have a good week, and I'll talk. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.